I'm Dr. Ash. Welcome to the Healthy Brain Exchange, where we discuss the latest in neuroscience to help you achieve optimum brain health and cognitive wellness. Today, I'm going to discuss with you how tech affects your brain. So we're going to be looking at the overstimulated brain and what technology is doing and how it's hijacking your brain. And most importantly, how do you get it back? This video is about the overstimulated brain. We're going to walk through a real life case study, look at what a digitally overstimulated brain looks like before and after treatment. And I'll also show you what you can do at home using neuroscience exercises and the right nutrition to help recover your brain to get it back to its optimum functioning. Jamie is 19. He came in exhausted, foggy, unable to focus. He'd been struggling to study, felt anxious most of the day and couldn't wind down at night. Jamie wasn't lazy or unmotivated. His brain was just in constant overdrive. Let's have a look at how Jamie's QEEG head maps looked. What we can see in Jamie's head maps here is excessive beta and high beta in the frontal cortex classic overstimulation. He has reduced alpha power, poor recovery and resting state, asymmetry in frontal and temporal regions linked to mood instability and poor regulation. Jamie's brain was acting like it was in crisis, just non-stop. And the source? Chronic digital stimulation. Constant dopamine hits from scrolling, switching and multitasking were rewiring his brain into short bursts and reactive loops. Jamie then started a 10 week program at the Healthy Brain Clinic. Here are the results. The protocol that we started Jamie on was using SW Loretta neurofeedback, targeting broadband areas 9, 10 and 24, which you can see on the pictures here, which were circled, to rebuild executive function and emotional regulation. We also used HRV biofeedback to calm his sympathetic overdrive. We also used blue light restriction and screen curfews. We also used targeted supplements to help Jamie's recovery. Here are the list of supplements. L-tyrosine. We used L-tyrosine in the morning to stabilize dopamine. Magnesium 3 and 8 at night to calm cortical hyperarousal. Omega-3 which is EPA DHA for frontal cortex restoration. We use neuro reset exercises like visual tracking drills to re-engage frontal parietal control. Also morning cold exposure and sunlight to recalibrate circadian rhythm. Here you can see the visual head map after 10 weeks of treatment. Notice there's more balanced beta, improved alpha, and normalized symmetry. Jamie felt clearer, less agitated, and more focused. He could study again. His sleep improved. He said, it's like I finally have my brain back. Let's have a look now as to what you can do at home to help reset your brain. If you're feeling distracted, scattered, or overstimulated, try this three-part plan. One, dopamine reset program. Start your day with 10 minutes of silence or outdoor light, no screens. Delay phone use by 30 minutes to allow your dopamine to stabilize. Two, focus stack supplements. L-tyrosine, 300 to 500 milligrams in the morning for dopamine pre-primary. Magnesium three and eight before bed to improve cortical recovery. Omega three EPA dominant, 1000 milligram per day for frontal lobe repair. Three, cognitive exercises, visual tracking, two to three minutes a day, smooth pursuit with a pen or app. Breath work, four, six breath ratio, four seconds in, 
six seconds out for five minutes. Screen fast. Two hours screen free daily block. What Jamie experienced isn't rare and it isn't permanent. You can reclaim your brain with the right tools, the right rhythm and the right neuro support. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, hit the like button and also tell a friend because we are trying to expand this channel. We want it to grow to help bring you the best in neuroscience and the best in how you can help get the optimum brain health and cognitive wellness that you deserve.